Tauna, Jason Pagara fought somebody who was not in the same class. That was a mismatch. Uh, so it was obvious from the beginning that uh, his opponent will not be able to stand the punching power or the speed of Jason Pagara. And that's why he was knocked out. Uh, it could mean in the one lakasang kalaban niya. Uh, okay naman siya, pero not the same league as Jason Pagara. So, in that sense, it was a mismatch. And we expected Jason Pagara to win. Mm -hmm. So, no problem. But, Prince Albert Pagara's loss was a stunning defeat because of the way it happened. Una una, uh, when you get into the ring, I've always said, don't be mayaba. Uh, you can have confidence, but not overconfidence. And that's what he showed, uh, especially after he knocked down Juarez in the first round, Kalanya tapos ng boxing. In the Juarez is a very strong, uh, resilient Mexican. Nonito Donaire found out how difficult it was to handle this guy. Major brutal yan. He, he keeps coming and coming, he never stops punching and ultimately he's going to get you. And that was the mistake of Pagara, standing in front of Juarez and trying to trade punches with him. That won't work. Nonito Donaire's father told me before the fight, he's got to jab and move. He cannot stand in front. If he stands in front and tries to trade punches, he's going to be in big trouble. And that's exactly what happened. He stood in front of Juarez, tried to exchange with him, and paid the price. In the seventh round, it was obvious he was gone. In round seven, he was in bad shape, Juarez. And he kept laying on the ropes and getting hit so much. He never got hit so much in his life. He got hit so badly, the body and the head, and he made the mistake of just lying on the ropes. Now, the other thing that comes to mind, as far as I'm concerned, is did he have the courage to face a guy like Juarez when he's in trouble? Because if you look at the record of Pagara, very impressive, but he has fought and beaten fighters on the fringes, not a real top-class fighter like Juarez. Even Michael Aldeguer, the president of Ala Promotion, said, this is going to be the biggest test of Pagara. I said he's going to have to prove himself because he's hoping for a world title fight. Well, Juarez entered, the, uh, entered those dreams. In fact, he turned it into a nightmare by the battering he gave Pagara. Well, he is going to learn from this. It's a bitter lesson. Well, you see, uh, besides having talent and besides having confidence, you need to uh, have courage. Nonito Donaire got hit many more times than Pagara uh, when he fought Juarez, but he never gave up. He never gave up and he fought back and he won the fight and won it by a lopsided decision. So it's sa puso, kailangan ng puso uh, in boxing. I'm not saying he's he has no courage, but he certainly didn't show it. When he was getting battered, he didn't fight back. Voila. And then the end of the seventh round, I knew that was done boxing. When he went to the corner, he was groggy. He was smiling. That was a smile of somebody who knew the end was near. So it's a disappointment to all of us who expected him to be a future world champion. Now. He's going to have to rest for several weeks because the Games and Amusements Board has a rule that if you get knocked out, you have to take at least 45 days break. So he's going to have to rest, recuperate, straighten out his mind once again, and most important, have a haircut. Because boxing is a brutal sport. It's not a fashion, fashion parade. His colored hair, so long, it kept covering his eyes, it was distracting him, and 
and he was brushing it aside. That's not good. Eh? You have to take the sport a little more seriously. And he didn't do that. He may have trained hard, uh, as they claimed he did, but he has always had a habit. He has a problem of kind of fading out in the later rounds. And especially with the kind of punching uh, he took from Juarez. Juarez is a non-stop aggressive fighter who comes to fight. Now, Juarez wants to fight Nonito Donaire again, a rematch. Nonito said, why not? He was willing because that would be a big fight. It will draw a huge crowd, uh, lots of opportunities. But of course, it depends on Donaire's promoter, top rank promoter, Bob Arum. Because Suarez is not his fighter. He's got uh, Jesse Magdaleno, whom he wants uh, to put up against uh, Donaire. So we'll have to wait and see whether that's going to happen or whether Aram will agree to allow him to fight Juarez. That's the best proposition, to fight Juarez. And Juarez will come to the Philippines and fight. So that's the possibility that should be explored and should be pursued relentlessly by other promotions and ABS-CBN who work in partnership with Allah. But for the time being, it's a major disappointment and uh, we'll have to learn to live with it.